Aloha, my name is Eric. And I'm Lisa. And this is our Maui Van Life. With those crazy guys. Oh my gosh. We shocked the world when almost a decade ago, my wife and I packed up our four boys, sold everything we owned, put a stake in the ground in search of waves and bathrooms. One of the goals I had for my van life video was to truly give you guys an insight to all of my favorite upgrades that I've done. So one of the toughest things about uh, Maui van life can be the sleeping arrangements. When the kids were smaller, right, no big deal, all four of them up here, but then I almost broke this thing. So now it's the two older boys down here and then my wife. So it's, it makes for a long night. Now Ryan, you go sideways? You gotta go sideways. All right, welcome to the West family surf van. By the way, if I add any value, please smash that like button. It's the way YouTube takes care of us. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick tour of this 1987 Volkswagen Vanagon. This is a Westphalia model, and I'm telling you, it is a dream come true. This was obviously the painting that sort of inspired it all for me. But some of my favorite upgrades that I did is I went ahead and I put in the electronics for being able to run power. And so here you can see I've got this double 12 volt battery system, which has been just amazing. My next favorite upgrade would be, of course, this television. Now this television has been just an awesome thing to have on camping trips. You can see we've got the nice bracket here in the back. This one, one of the tips I love to give people, this television has a VCR built right into it. Isn't that cool? I'll tell you what, everybody is either throwing you a shaka, a peace sign, or they're coming up and they're talking to you about your van and how these things have such a special place in their heart. It truly is an honor to be an ambassador of the VW van and to drive around in the Aloha and the Shaka vibe that this thing just absolutely <laughs> precedes you before you even get there. It doesn't always have the greatest circulation. This van makes a huge difference. So one of the challenges in this Hawaiian environment is it gets a little warm here. And so when you're sleeping at night, you wanna, you wanna be comfortable. And so what I discovered the key to that is, is you wanna keep the bugs out, you wanna keep the fan, the air circulating with a fan. Is having this beautiful mosquito net. So I got this custom made for the back of the van. And basically at night you can sleep. You have all that airflow happening because of the mosquito netting. Otherwise, if you have to shut everything down to keep the bugs out, then you have a very bad air circulation problem at night and you can get really, really hot. I love using my surf towels as uh, seat covers because when you're done surfing, in case you forgot your towel, you've always got one handy. I upgraded to the ARB awning. Amazing sunshade. So easy to pull out and install and gives you that beautiful sun protection and it's just like having a second room. Here we go, upper deck. Love these little magnetic lights, so cool. And they have a moon setting, which is like this blue setting. It's really cool. You can't hardly see it right now, but. So one of the challenges with the van again is when the sun goes down and it starts to get dark, it's dark inside here. The only light that you have is the one right underneath that television, which is your camp light. So I decided to solve the problem by putting up this rope lighting. Cause remember now I've got electricity. I'm able to plug it in right there. But I'm telling you, it is so awesome. I can light up this whole thing and literally they think I'm either the pit mobile or a limo. But either way, I've got light. The big question, how do I pay for this extravagant lifestyle, right? <laughs> What's the extravagant lifestyle? It's called three teenagers and an 11 year old that create a Costco bill that you wouldn't believe. So how do I do it? I sell real estate in the state of Hawaii and I do it from my van life office. And I'm telling you, man, it is a dream come true. When I was in corporate America over 15 years ago, one of the things I couldn't stand was having to go to the office. Stagnation, recirculated air, ugh, just the lights, everything, the vibe was the worst. I felt like I was gonna die young. So this was part of my dream was like, could you imagine having a, a mobile van where I can pull up to any stretch of beach, surf, sand, Pull, roll down the windows, turn on the fan, hook up the Wi-Fi, plug in the computer. 
I've got my cell phone, I can be productive, I can batch my work, and at the end of the day, I can hit some surf. And guess what? My clients actually love touring around, looking at real estate in this van. And of course, I always have the surfboards on top, and at the end of the day, if they want to go catch a quick session, I usually know where the waves are. Oh, and one last thing. As far as the West family of six living in this van, <laughs> that ain't ever gonna happen. If someone you know is looking to buy or sell real estate in the state of Hawaii, send them my way. I promise I'll show it to them through the paradise glasses. My website, hawaiirealestate.org. Mahalo.